Alright, this is weird making a video with you. <laughs> It's Kimberly, and I'm a little bit <laughs> not excited for this video. You're not excited? He's about to roast me. <laughs> Today's video is going to be about American habits that piss him off. And I don't really have much more to say about that. Mm -hmm. um, but you better keep it somewhat nice or else I'll kill you. I'll try to roast you nicely. Thank you. Emphasis on cry. So this video is just for fun. Please don't be too rude in the comments about it. <laughs> don't uh, roast us. Don't take it too seriously. We're allowed to roast each other. You're not allowed to yeah. roast us. <laughs> Good now. <clears throat> All right. Max, mm. what is the first habit that I do that's American and that really grinds your gears? Letting the water in the shower run hot for like 30 minutes prior to getting into the shower. Okay, that is so dramatic. It's not 30 minutes, Max. It's like But you will, you will literally turn on the water, then run through the house twice, gathering all of your things you need for the shower, and that's like at least five minutes. And the water only takes about 30 seconds. That's not true. To get okay, hot. it's because it's because I think our showers might be a little different too because you have to wait for it to warm up. Okay, but during that time, so much clean water goes down the drain. So I remember the first time you showered at my house, okay? You literally came out to ask me if I had something, I don't know, a towel or shampoo, and I was like, what, what about the shower? Is it running right now? And you're like, yeah. And you're like, it was so, so natural for you. And I was like, you can't let the water run for that long. Why not? Okay, but to be fair, maybe this isn't an American app. Maybe it's just my thing. I've gotten, maybe. I've gotten a lot better though when it comes to the environment and being more environmental. I have to say that she has gotten a lot better. She recycles. I'm very proud of her for that. Next My heart one. Is <laughs> Americans have a tendency to play things off as I'm okay. Even though they're not okay. Even though they might die in two minutes. Or even though their friend just died. But if you ask them, how are you? I'm great. I'm fine. I'm okay. And you know, I have this. Kimberly is crying like tears are running down her face crocodile tears and it's obvious like a blind person can see that she's not okay <laughs> and she goes no i'm fine i'm okay i'm you're literally not okay you walk out the door you see someone that you know and they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine it's because i don't want to make other people a worried b I don't want to be negative, so I'm just like, I will deal with it alone. But it stresses me out even more if you tell me that you're okay, even though you're clearly not okay. It's like one of those things that like runs me up the tree, honestly. Next one. Number three. So, I as a European have the tendency to dress up for things, like the... Dressing culture in Europe is a little bit different than in the US. It's a little bit more casual in the US. You wear a lot more like sweatpants and just shorts and just long t-shirts and tank tops and even if you're like going out, that drives me nuts. Because I have the mentality, if for example, you go out for a nice dinner or if you go uh, to the theater and you pay a lot of money for it and somebody sits in the audience with freaking shorts, flip-flops, and a tank top, I'm like, are you kidding me? That's, that's not showing respect towards yourself in that situation, but not either towards like the people on stage trying to entertain you. Like if, like, okay, I've, 
I'm an, I studied acting and I've stood on stage quite a few times and if somebody's in the audience dressed like that, I'm like, really, couldn't you have dressed up a little nicer? You know, maybe just my viewpoint. Maybe but my question my is for you as an actor, why are you so concerned about what the audience I'm is? I'm not... That's the thing I don't get. If I you're an maybe actor, it's... maybe you should focus more on your acting. You... <laughs> yeah. Also, for Thanksgiving. My family celebrates Thanksgiving in the U.S., uh, in Germany. And uh, when we celebrate Thanksgiving, we dress up nicely. Because we're like, it's a nice occasion, family, dinner, friends come together. Time for the sweatpants. <laughs> she whips out her sweatpants and goes, woo! -hoo! Let's just fill our stomachs up until they burst, because I can't wear any nice pants. Okay. But I didn't do that with you. Did not. I dressed up you because did. I wanted to respect no, that. No, you did. But also, Max is so focused on the social part of Thanksgiving, he doesn't even eat any of the food. None of it. He's gonna say, oh, that's not true. I literally was staring at him because I'm over here like, oh, this ice cream is so good. Max is like, the ice not cream was fantastic. fantastic. Max barely, he ate smaller than a kid's portion size. I like conversing. He likes conversing so much, but at like, he, you don't even enjoy food. I converse a little bit too much while I eat. He didn't eat any of the okay, Thanksgiving food. Stop, he was so focused stop, on the dressing. Stop, stop. The this culture. video is not about, this, this <laughs> video is not about you roasting me, it's about me roasting you. If you want to see a video where she roasts me, check out my channel. <laughs> we haven't even been together for that long. No, like eight okay, months. this is like a, Another conflicting thing that we have <laughs> is I'm like, we haven't been together very long, Max. It's been less than a year. It's been eight months. And Max is like, well, Max hasn't really been in a relationship. I, he gets so upset with that, but he really hasn't been in a relationship. It, it's six months. Six months is a relationship. Hardly. That's a relationship. Hardly. You start a relationship and you're in a relationship. It, if it's... Two weeks or that, how old were you? Two years. I was 18. Number four. The word period drives me nuts. Not like as in a girl's period, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but when we're having a discussion, when we're having an argument, and she goes, Period. That's it. She doesn't want to talk about it anymore. But I have more things to say. But once she says the discussion's over, it's over. We're not talking about it anymore. You go die, Max. You go die. <laughs> for all I care. You go die with your with your arguments, but I don't want to talk about it anymore. If period. I if I wanna Exactly. That's what she does. Period, Max. It's over. I'm like, but I haven't like gotten everything out I wanted to say. You've been texting me the whole time. Like, not texting me, but you've been, you've been onto me the whole time. I have not got a chance to say a single thing and then you go period. Period. Let's just end this with period. Because sometimes you just say things so theoretically and not logistically. Like, you say this and that, like it's factual, but you haven't done any research on it. And that really upsets me. Maybe we yeah, only need one one video. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's got a whole list of things she wants to roast me for. Number five, PDA. What does PDA stand for again? I forgot. Public display of affection. Yes, exactly. And she does not like when I do that. So when I kiss her in public, or when I don't know, I'm just affectionate and I hug her. No, she does not like when I do that at all. No. I don't know. Why I just, I just, I just, because you're my girlfriend, I'm allowed to kiss you. Or I'm, I'm okay with the hand-holding. Like... Okay. But... It's grown on to me, the hand-holding. Mm -hmm. I actually enjoy it now. Mm -hmm. Europeans, Germans are a lot more, I feel like, I don't know, Kimberly says they're up each other's private space all the time in public. 
Maybe it's just that's that so, but I don't really mind that at all. Yeah, y'all are just more touchy with each other and even in lines and stuff like that. Y'all can get so close to each other in like store lines and stuff of that mm -hmm. sort. So I don't know. I'm not a fan of the touchy. I'm a fan of the touchy. Well, you know, I don't have to do it all the time, but. I guess you do. You're always like, oh, the worst is when we're in a restaurant or something like that. And I'm like, food, yes, it's time for me to eat. And Max goes, and I'm like, no, why? Why right now? All right, that was my five American habits that piss me off the most about my girlfriend became really. I hope you guys can identify with some of those. If you're dating an American girlfriend, post it in the comments down below. And make sure to check out his channel for the reverse of this. So German habits that he does that mm. piss me off, even though <laughs> you might have gotten an idea of it in this video. Ciao, tschüss. Bis, Bis dann.